Well guys, we are here back with another episode of Lost Lion. I'm going to Washington DC for a few days to visit the girlfriend. But I hope you guys join me. I hope you guys been liking El Salvador, the series of uh, that one. It just uh, probably saw the last episode before this one. But that was a total of about five or six videos. So that went very well. And I can't wait to show you guys a little bit of uh, DC. We're gonna go see a bunch of monuments. We're gonna go explore the city, gonna go eat out. Uh, see what there is to do. So hope you guys follow along. Thanks guys for uh, subscribing and liking. Um, please do if you haven't. So we'll catch you guys here at the airport right about now. Okay guys, here it is inside of Terminal D, which I'm sure many of you recognize. But um, I'm only here for the breakfast at the Priority Pass uh, lounge that I have. So it's right through the security, which is right over there. I'm uh, gonna have a quick breakfast and then I gotta get on the tram to go to Terminal E where my flight's gonna take off to Washington DC. So I'm excited. Hope you guys join. Hope you guys like it. Give it a like and subscribe. Thanks. Okay, so we'll see you after the security, uh, the TSA pre-check or whatever. So I just walked out of the DFW club. Here it is, that's where you check in and that's where I was eating, down at the chair at the end. So, pretty good. Uh, quick breakfast, quick lunch. I mean, well, breakfast really, quick snack. Now time to go to the, to the, uh, to the gate. All right guys, we're uh, June 20th, uh, 2022. And uh, today we're going to Washington, DC, like I've said in the, uh, probably a few minutes ago from this video. Um, so as of right now, for the rest of the year, I have quite a bit of trips. I have this trip, I've got, I'm just gonna say it now, because by the time this video is out, I'm probably gonna be on all these other trips. So just to announce it, I'm gonna be on this trip. I'm gonna film Vegas as well. In about a, about a month from now and then uh, we're gonna probably do a birthday trip for me um, probably I don't know where yet but it'll be exciting when I announce it so looking forward to that and and then the World Cup at the end of the year so we have all that scheduled out and it's gonna be a strong rest of the year Here we are, Baltimore. Well, let's go. Plenty of people, but it is what it is. Baltimore, Washington. First time here. Never been. Let's see what uh, today has to bring, even though today is going to be like a rest day. So really, tomorrow is going to be the day that uh, bring you guys along and watch or look at all the monuments and things to do. Oh, one thing I'm really excited about is the Ford Theater where Abraham Lincoln was assassinated. So, cannot wait to show you guys that part of the video. So, Good morning guys, here in Baltimore, Maryland. About to head to Washington DC. What's up guys? Lost Lion. Uh, about to drive one hour to Washington DC, so we're going to explore. Have a good day out there. We're gonna explore uh, Ford's Theater, so where Abraham Lincoln was assassinated. So catch it on the other side. We'll see you guys. In half a mile, turn left on 18. This is with James Madison and John Jay to write a series of essays defending the new United States. We're almost States here, guys. Going to that monument you see right there in the back. Okay, look at that. That's the home right there, the pink one, is where he actually was taken and laid in bed to die. Mr. Abraham Lincoln.
So look at this guys, we just had a presentation down at the stage, but um, pretty much saying that, you know, Abraham Lincoln was shot right there, assassinated. Um, I don't think that furniture is original that's inside, but uh, it's pretty cool to see how it used to be. And um, supposedly uh, 1,800 people were here in this theater alone when uh, Abraham Lincoln was assassinated. So talking kind of quietly and everybody's loud, but hey. Such a big fan of this stuff. I was always a fan of Abraham Lincoln as a little kid and uh, finally to see it, it's a pretty cool thing to see. Sad too, but we're gonna walk to that door where um, the uh, person who killed them went through there. And we're gonna go over here to take some better shots and some photos, so let's do that. Now we're gonna go to the Peterson house where he was laid to, uh, he went to lay down and pass away the next morning. So, we'll see you there. So as we step outside after the theater, here is the, the outside, the front face. This is it. Built in 18, in the 1830s. It was a church at first and then it transformed into a uh, theater, so. Taken there through those doors, which we're about to see in a minute. This is the room, guys. I don't know if this is the exact bed. Oh, the exact one is in Chicago. Was just told. What an amazing uh, experience just to see the location of where the bed was. Um, I think right now we're gonna go on the fourth floor, check to see what's out there. So. The nation's newest monument. At the opening dedication in 1922, former President Taft declared a shrine in which all can worship. So right now we're gonna go to the National Museum of Natural History, which is that building right there. The cool thing is there's a lot of food trucks right in front. Ice cream, food, whatever. Can't wait to go. And it's free, so give it a thumbs up. So we walked in and we found this uh, Burns Quartz. Yeah, that's one of the biggest ones. Yeah, that's the, that's your stuff. Easter Island. Off of Chile. I want to go there one day to see these guys. And now we're here at the dinosaurs, which is pretty cool. Shout out to my nephew who loves this kind of stuff. I'm going to show him all this, but uh, free museum. Go ahead. Probably the biggest museum I've ever been to and the free, yeah, one of the very few free ones I've ever been to as well, so. Yeah, I definitely recommend you guys just spend a few days out here in DC because one day is not enough in DC to explore the uh, museums, monuments, all those sorts of things. Um, but it's definitely worth the trip even if it's just one day. Just know it's going to be tight, parking is difficult, which is another whole thing. And then uh, everything's so expensive out here, uh, but museums are free, so that's that's always great. Give me a caption for this one, guys. I want you to write in the comments. What is the caption? Look at this face. Okay, here's another angle of the shark. 60 feet long, they say. I'm just fascinated with these things. Look at that. This is a real one, guys, so we're gonna read a little bit here. Yeah. 
this is yeah, what it's in the same Alright guys, well we had a great time here at the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History here in Washington DC and uh, it was a free uh, museum to come to. So many exhibits with uh, dinosaurs, mammals, uh, the aquarium, uh, just like everything, to, uh, what else, mummies, anything you can imagine was here. It was a great time. Uh, you need a full day though, probably even more than a full day, but uh, it was definitely worth it. So we're going to check out some other museums for free around the DC area, uh, pretty much walking distance, which is a good thing. But uh, as you can see down here, this is kind of like an upper view of the uh, elephant that we see down there. But uh, definitely recommend it. You know, come here if you're coming to DC.